Hey you everybody, how are you all doing today? Welcome back to another episode of the SSX Tricky Let's Play. Today we'll be tackling a pretty long track, so we'll be working on the Elysium Alps. It's gonna be quite the jaunt, so hopefully you'll be there to join me as we get right into it. Welcome to the Elysium Alps in France. Though it remains largely the same course as last year, the changes that have been made are dramatic. The strongest technical rider will pull out the win today. If the narrow shoots or huge cliff drops don't give them pause, the brand new loop de loop will. Brand new loop de loop? Well, I do like the sound of that, to be fair. And you know, just in general, going from OG into tricky, Elysium is one of the tracks where I feel they improved it the most. I like most of the changes they made to Elysium. The French are alright, but I love their slopes. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just hop right into it with some show off and then we'll get to the ungodly long race event after that. So it looks like when we played this as Eddie we actually got just south of 1 million points on this. So let's see if we can if we can actually get that million this time. That would be pretty sweet. Not going to go super try hard about it obviously but if we could get it that'd be a nice little bonus. Let's see, don't go too far. There is a free times here for ya. Dang it, you went too far. <laughs> ah well, that's okay. This is one of my favorite things you can actually do in this game. That you can't really do in other SSX games. It's like, you can just bounce on obstacles like that. I don't know like what in the coding makes that a thing you can do. Because it definitely shouldn't be a thing. But I really like that it is. Okay, I think in my long play with Mac, I missed this five times. Oh, looks like I missed it again. Dang it. <laughs> ah well, that's alright. We'll have to... We will have to make do without it. Shouldn't be that big of a problem though. Just pulled me back to the side. That was kind of weird. No, I didn't want to do a trick book trick. <laughs> It is funny you would uh, do that trick book trick though, because in terms of the trick book, I've been thinking a little about it. And what I think I'll do is I won't quite do what I do during the long place, where I do the first set during Snow Dream and then during um, and then during Tokyo for round two, and then finally the last one during Alaska, because I do want to have all the outfits and all that stuff unlocked for a decent portion of the game. So what I think I'm going to do instead. So we'll try to hit. Um, we'll do Snow Dream, obviously, but then I think we'll do the next round in Mesa Blanca, and then either uh, Mercury City or Tokyo after that. Nice, we got it. Let's see if we can actually get the multiplier. Nah, not even close. It was a valiant effort, though. Good work, Moby. Your job here is done. You can leave now. There you go. That five times is probably one of the most interesting in the game, because obviously it's not supposed to be begotten like that, but it is cool that it's possible to do that. So, there you go. There's also a five times chilling over this way, if I can maybe get lucky and pick that up. We also have to remember, Moby is a goofy character, so I gotta watch my stance a little bit. I just did a one, I want that. How fast should I go? Like 65 and then jump. Yeah, looks good to me. And there you go. I don't think we have any tricks on Moby right now that he could actually uh, do on that multiplier. I think all of them would probably crash. So, Like out of the knack knack and the nothing, I'm not 100% sure which is faster. I think it might be the nothing. I don't know, I might have to I might have to ask some of the tricky gurus to find an answer. But for now, we're doing pretty alright. Let's see, can I get this that's over here? Oh, I'm not gonna make it though. Oh, darn it. There's a rock in the way. You think that was sweet, Russell? I think we'll have to agree to disagree then. Big jump here. I don't think I have time for another Superman bar spin, so I guess we're just gonna have to leave it. 
I could probably fit in another like, regular size Uber. I wanted to do a Superman bar spin. It's my way or the highway in this case, I guess. Flake rotation. That kind of stinks. Well, it's time for the half pipe at any rate. So if I get lucky, we get some five times. We might be looking pretty alright. So let's try and hit a couple. Oh, do I have it? Oh, nice. Okay. Cool. Good start. Like, this half pipe had potential to be really great, but then they decided to put this rail going through it. Which wouldn't have been a big problem if there has hadn't been, like, those rail supports in the middle that just ruin your day. Also, that's not what I need to do. Please land that. No, the fact that I did a nose grab first screwed everything. <laughs> that's hilariously sad, but okay. I think we'll probably still be able to get a mill, I'm guessing. I think we're alright. If I can get this five times, especially. Or three times, I'm not picky. Okay, I got neither. That's okay, though. Yeah, I think we're fine. A little frog hop, and then let's see if we can maybe get lucky here. No! Dang it, I wanted to have a shot at the five times. Alright, well. I guess you decided for me. Let us get a few more points, and we will call that good. There you go, there's our mill. Not bad. And there you go. So now I guess it's time for the the race event. Just gonna, gonna take a while. <laughs> Okay, let's just do this stat, stat distribution again. Oh, it looks like it's not even going to send us back to the menu this time. Okay, I'm, I guess just straight into the Elysium Alps race then. No fanfare about it. Welcome to the Elysium Alps in France. Though it remains largely the same course as last year, the changes that have been made are dramatic. The strongest technical rider will pull out the win today. If the narrow shoots or huge cliff drops don't give them pause, the brand new loop de loop will. Looks like the announcer just reused this line. I wish they had lines specific to the event type so that they wouldn't do that. The SSX World Circuit. The quarterfinals are where we separate those who yearn from those who do. We will witness greatness today, mark my words. You can count on Moby to give you a show. With no friends in the lineup, you better be careful out there today. So we do have Mac in the race. That is good. Because if I come across him, that means he's going to get a swift punch to the face. Like I said a few times, oh crap. Like I said a few times, <clears throat> when I play this game, I tend to make it so that friends stay friends, enemies stay enemies, and everyone else is just kind of almost in a purgatory in the middle of sorts, where I couldn't really care much less about whether, they, whether they're whether they friends or enemies or what they are, so. I think that's a pretty chill way of playing. Totally should not have switched my stance though. I ended up erasing my stance switching anyway as well, so there's that too. Uh oh. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Alright, well, at least we got some boost out of it. I did want to do a trick there, which that kind of screwed up, but whatever. We will find a way. Ow. Land on the rail? Okay, I mean, you did, just not in the way I was anticipating slash hoping. So, partial credit, I guess? Partial credit for Moby. Let's not get rail ejected this time. Rails in this game are so strange. They are full of jank at times. Is that gonna land? Nice, good stuff. How's about that? Okay. The nothing does have a pretty sizable landing animation, I do know that. 
so I wasn't sure if that was gonna happen. One of them did, one of them didn't. I think that's fair. If you tempt fate twice, if you get away with it once, you should be happy, I guess. Oh, what? Alright. Did I just lock my speed or something? What was that? Get out of here. Where's Mac? There he is. <laughs> Alright, good, good. So considering this is the first heat, we should probably take the super slow river path in this one. Yeah, like the little icy river path, I think I'm gonna do that. I could get off here, this is my last potential off-ramp before entering this... this satanic place. It really is horrible, but... You know, it's gotta be shown off. It is part of my gimmick after all, whether you're watching a let's play or a long play. The goal is to see as many different paths as possible. No, I wanted that rail though. That's kind of stinky. Once again, even though we had the chance to leave, I won't be. Okay, I guess we're in switch now. Who's that sneaking up on us? We gotta keep an eye out because a lot of people are actually pretty mad at us now. So, gotta be careful with that. I realistically only want to piss off Mac out of everyone who's in this race, but... I am pissing off everyone. It's actually pretty funny. Hi! Where are you going? Oh, did he punch me as he landed? Alright, that's what you get. I mean, in actuality, you should have credit for... You should get credit for for trying to hit me in such a, an opportune moment. That was actually a stroke of genius. But he's still gonna pay for it, nonetheless. We should probably try and get into the lead again so that we don't actually get in trouble with getting past the heat. That would be pretty sad. And then, one of my, if not my, single least favorite part of this whole game it's close, or it's up there, for sure. I don't know whose idea this was, but I should hope they got a stern talking to. This is not <laughs> how you make compelling gameplay in a game where it's all about basically being invincible. So, I don't know. I mean, it's not that big of a deal because they only did it once throughout the game, but if that had turned into a regular feature in track design, Oh boy, that would have stunk. Let's take the loop, and bada boom bada bing. We'll go off to the side a little bit, because why not? Not that there's actually anything going on over here, but, you know, different scenery. Yeah, that wasn't gonna land. Alright, Moby. Relatively comfortable first heat there, he says. <laughs> Now the competition is gonna get real. But first, we got some vitriol. Now you think you're all that? Yeah, right. That is a load of bollocks. A fine race. I mean, when he's saying that, isn't Moby basically confirming what he said? Like, yeah, you think you're all that, and Moby's like, nah, bollocks, I'm not all that. <laughs> I don't know. Weird. Now then. Let's try and actually hit this rail this time, because I screwed it up last time and then I screwed it up again. Thank you very much. We should be able to get Uber Trek going into this path. All right, should be able to land it. Nothing going into here. Yeah, nothing doing. <laughs> or hop. I always forget just how big jumps you can actually get off of these, these walls on this area. Because this whole area is so big, it doesn't really feel as such, but there really is a lot of square footage there. Uh oh, I shouldn't have done that jump, I don't think. Whew, okay, that got scary. Okay, please stay up here. That looks possibly good. No, don't! No! Dang it. I got kicked off. Well, we did get the bulk of the pass, so I guess I'll consider that like a... Uh, 
I don't know actually, like a, a C plus maybe? Yeah, I think I'll give that a C plus. And now, for the main event, this rail. There you go. One of the problems I have with rails in this game is that if you go max speed, at least if you're me, you tend to just get badly railjected. But I think that's just me. I do know rails in this game are kind of jank, but I think they're a little more aggressive towards me than most other people. Maybe that's wrong though. Maybe everyone else just has the same amount of rails screwing them over. It definitely wouldn't be SSX tricky without janky rails, I'll tell you that much. For better and for worse. This is not where I want to be actually, I want to be over here. Ideally, I would have liked to have actually been up there, but I guess this will do. Problem is, it's gonna take us back to here, so this time I'm actually gonna have to make sure I can escape this bit. So, jump onto it for safety. Nice. Like, jumping onto a rail in Tricky is definitely the best and most consistent way to actually get the damn thing. <laughs> if you don't do that, you're always at risk of possibly getting bonked off or something stupid like that. Can I get a frog hop here? Nah, I don't think there's enough time. Never mind, I was wrong. Good stuff. Don't hit that tree. Ooh, okay. I was a tree magnet, but thankfully the tree... The tree had mercy. So that's pretty great. That is a combo. You are right, Rosal. And obviously for the next heat, you know, we'll do like most of the shortcuts. Including some of the ones I haven't done yet. So let's just hit a quick little frog hop going into this little cavey path. And then, thank god they made it possible to dodge this stupid area. <laughs> If they hadn't added these rails on the side, I don't know what I would have done. It would have been sad. I know that much. Nice, and we don't even get screwed over by that, which is pretty good. You know, it's kind of funny. Even though it actually, you know, it does lose me time, I do like to be in regular. Because it allows me to do, do spends a lot faster, so... Even though it's a race and it doesn't actually matter for anything, I do like being able to dispense a lot faster. It's much better that way. And bada boom bada bing. Heat number two of three down. A nice little finish line tap as well. First place and a new course record. You've moved to the World Circuit Final. Let's see who we're gonna have. Looks like Zoe should have made it. So that's pretty good. Nice. Guess we're not going to knock anyone down then, which is kind of cool and kind of sad at the same time. You know, I like it, but at the same time, I could have done with a couple of knockdowns. Let's be real. <laughs> oh, come on, I didn't have time for that. Are you kidding me? Video game, why? Let's go up here, then. That'll be alright. And because I don't have all that much boost, I actually can't do... I can't reach max speed. So there's pretty much no risk of getting tossed off the rail. So, that works out for me. Oh no, I don't want to be facing this way. Let's try and stay up here, so don't railject me. Nice, good. Okay, you know, that's fine, I guess. I can work with that. Ow. Okay. I said ow before I wiped out because I was so convinced I would. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Like, imagine saying ow before you actually hit yourself in real life. That's basically what I just did. Oh, crap. Humans are really good at anticipating reward, but apparently we're also good at anticipating pain, so that's something. 
Now then, it's time for the big boy shortcut. That saves so goddamn much time, it's actually unbelievable. Is that gonna land? Okay. No! I thought it was good. I should quit playing risky. Should instead opt for what I know works. But regardless, we are gonna take this Aquilio path. And there's a big shortcut over here. When I say big shortcut, I mean big shortcut. It cuts out a lot of track. Uh, I don't think there's time for another one. Let's not make the mistake I just told myself not to make. <laughs> that would be a pretty sad. Here's Moby! Can I land a bar hop going here? Uh, yeah. Nice. Good stuff. Ow. Okay. Forget that one. If you say so, that's not gonna land. Not even close. Oh no, I forgot it does this. Alright. Uh, I mean, hey. Thankfully, it's not a speed run, right? <laughs> that does suck, though, because I don't like that path one bit. We are mortal enemies, that path and I. Thankfully, we're out of it now, though. <clears throat> Let's just hit... Let's hit, see if I can actually hit this this time. If I get a little bit of extra air, that should be all I need, right? Yes, perfect. It wasn't comfortable, I wouldn't call that safe. But it did land, so that's all that matters. And finally, hit this one more time. Oh, never mind, apparently. The game had different ideas. What kind of spawn is that? I mean, it's a good thing... It's a good thing I'm not in a rush, because, woo-wee. Imagine if the AI was able to take that shortcut, and I failed to. I would definitely be at risk of not being in first anymore. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're fine. I haven't done many knack-knacks today, so let's bust out one of those at the end here as well. Because why not? Nice little homage to the knack-knack. There you go. And there you have it. <coughs> That's Elysium Helps. Let's see if we're gonna unlock something, because we might. Oh, ah, oh, crap. I wanted to try and do a trick, land on the, the podium. That would be pretty sweet. Not today, I guess. But what we did get is a gold medal, so that's a pretty good session. King of the hill and country. Well done. You've won a gold medal. Nice. Move on. You've achieved a veteran level. Okay, we've unlocked a new board. What kind of board is that? Let's find that out. We've also ranked up to Veteran, unsurprising, I guess, because we didn't rank up last time, so... I guess that makes sense. He's climbing the ranks. So now I'm excited to see what board it was that we just unlocked. Okay, we'll know now. Oh, it's an Alpine board. Oh, no, I'll have... I'll have enough pain with Alpine boards as we, uh, as we continue the Let's Play. If you know, you know. But, at least we have this one to look forward to next time. So that's something. But yeah, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to have somewhere to talk about SSX, or just about anything in general, I'll link my Discord server in the description down below. It'd be pretty awesome if you could come join us and uh, have a chat. But that'll do it. So I'll see you all next time. Have an absolutely bang up rest of your day, everyone. Take care and goodbye. I'll see you next time for some Mesa Blanca action.